every real cowboy like myself knows how lonely it is out on the open range, which is why I listen to the Cowboy Boys Podcast. With best contractually obligated friends, Shane Smith and Mac Arthur, the Cowboy Boys will comfort your soul better than any disease-ridden salute gal ever could. Cowboy Boys. Hello. <laughs> you don't you don't want a paper towel? No, I don't care. I really don't. You just spilled uh I I mean you just pissed your pants. Yeah, I pissed my pants. And only people watching the YouTube feed, the live YouTube feed, can see that you just pissed your pants. Dude, do you think you know there are people who think it feels really good to piss their pants, so they do it all the time. I do think it feels good. There's a lot of things that feel... Really? Okay, there's a lot of things that feel good, Mm -hmm. but then the consequences immediately after are what does not feel good. Do you know what the perfect piss is? It's not into a toilet. It's not in your pants. The perfect piss is in the ocean inside of your wetsuit, man. (laughs) Oh, in the winter, bro? Woo! If it warm, it's so warm. Oh, it's so good, dude. Do you not chafe? No, because your wetsuit fills with water. Or salt water. So it's constantly secreting a little bit of water and filling with water. <laughs> and then the material holds the water against your skin and your skin warms up the water and that's what keeps you warm. So when you pee, it's like a little treat, you know? Oh, you're like oh a, dude, it feels so good. You're like an astronaut. Yeah, man. Just peeing in my fucking space suit. And then it goes right down into your boots. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it goes into your feeties, dude. And the water doesn't cycle out that way. Uh, yeah, then, sometimes your your booties do fill with water a lot. Now you got stinky piss feet. No, it, it's mixed with salt water. It's no, fine. You, the salt got, water's 90% fish piss. Now you got salty fish and human piss feet. Oh, dude, stop. Dude, You're making me horny. N- no, I, my my toes are... I, I, I wash my feet before the act of making love so i she's she can suck on my toes damn there's this uh this show called stab highway that i really like where it's like surfers doing like a scavenger hunt is this one a reality of, show yeah one of the stab highway sounds like a bunch of hobos <laughs> I know, I know, wait I know. at a rest stop waiting for unsuspecting <laughs> tourists to like oh i need to use the bathroom ah oh, i got stabbed <laughs> it's an australian See, who magazine will get, who will get shanked next week on stab highway and it's really good and they fucking um at one point uh they have to do a challenge where they have to drink out of a stranger's booty which is so fucked up but this one guy's like oh we have to do it this day like we waited till the last day and the guy's so hardcore he just walks up to this random surfer who's leaving the beach and he goes can i drink your booty water and the guy's like i literally just pissed while i was walking and he goes i don't fucking care and then drank his booty water so it's he drank foot salt water and piss that is hardcore dude uh i mean there's I, some people have you ever seen the facebook groups where they're, they're the people who uh think that drinking your own piss cures you yeah 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 there are people athletes who think drinking your own piss makes you stronger well, there are people who think drinking your family's piss heals you that's the it's one of those things where you look at their profile pictures and you're just like oh you're unwell yeah, yeah. I, i'm not a doctor well i am but if i wasn't a doctor uh-huh. i could still look at you and be like Hey, whatever you're doing, stop. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You need to stop whatever. It's like I, if you have, if I see a guy stabbing himself in the abdomen with a knife, I'm like, hey, maybe stop doing that. And he's like, oh yeah, that, that, that oh I don't know why that I thought it was healing me. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's because they're like crazy. Their skin looks so dry, and their lips are always like chapped, and their eyes are always like they have jaundice eyes, and they're like, it's healing my body. <laughs> they're always on it's. It's never a good sign when TLC shows up and they're like, hey, can we document you? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, everything's going great in my oh, life. Oh, because I'm so healthy, you mean. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm so healthy and good that you're here to document me. Dude, what if that... <laughs> if TLC shows up, you're fucked, oh, dude. That, that would be the worst wake-up call if the if TLC producers are just like, do you, do you want a do you want a bunch of money? And you're like, why? We're just going to film you, whatever, you, whatever the fuck you're doing. We want to see... <laughs> <laughs> like i guess I mean, the the bat cat's out of the bag now fuck dude the piss drinking people are funny those are the same people who like put coffee in their ass or sun dude did you see how popular it got to sun your balls with a uv rays i understand that one and i'm i'm kind of like i'm i think i'm like 
twenty percent believing in it. <laughs> yeah, what do you next think time it does? I go next time I go camping, I'm definitely gonna try it. Nude sunbathing or just shining my gooch at the sun. One, it makes you feel like a god. Just showing your asshole directly at the biggest thing in our solar system. Yeah, yeah, no, it, I'll like, give you that. Being like, "Fuck you, check out my <laughs> asshole." <laughs> Two, I think uh, it'd be kind of nice next time a, a, a lady's down there. She's just like, "Oh, look, it's all nice and tan down yeah, here." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when someone's genitals look different, you're all disgusted. You don't want to sleep with them again. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, listen, that's happened to me. That's why. That's why women should uh, just wait that's why they should all be topless when i was a young man i got yeah, grossed I, out once oh it was actually very funny someone uh was tweeting at me being like they were tweeting at both of us being like props to shane love the podcast you're very smart uh mac has never said anything correct on the podcast that's <laughs> so funny <laughs> and i'm like I'm. I will continue to not say anything. <laughs> I'm glad you take our podcast very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> they get it. They get what we're up to, dude. He's, he understands. They understand the show completely more so than me. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to you, fucking salute. Um, I was gonna fucking say something and I lost it. Something about tanning your butthole. Oh yeah, that was really popular. And Fox News like had a thing where they were running ads for. Se- well, they were sunning your balls specifically it's a device that like it looked like vr goggles for your dick and balls and then it would shine bright UV. red uv light like sunlight you know yeah. like the light that blade would use to kill a vampire mm-hmm. so if your balls are vampiric you'll die but if they're normal you're gonna just fucking sun your balls and then it's gonna what they were saying is it's gonna increase your testosterone and make you more of a man so i was like I want to see th- what the people who do that look like because there's no way they're like shredded or or like they're not like barrel chested warriors sunning their balls. It's these are the types of guys that do like fad diets or yeah. like, you know, they read about being strong and then they're like, and I'm going to do the crazy program. I instead of just simply going to the gym and lifting. I, honestly, if you get rich selling ultraviolet uh, ball boxes yeah 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 salute to you salute to you man Good i agree job. with you i agree with you 100 <laughs> percent. if you're like because that's a risk yeah if someone goes up to you and they go hey i think we can make a lot of money and you go oh really are we gonna is it cell phones is it is, are we gonna sell missiles what are we like yeah it's something easy yeah yeah no 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 actually we're gonna create a little panel that you sit <laughs> in front of your dick and balls and it's going to shoot lights directly into them and you go well that immediately sounds like it's going to give you cancer and they go and that's what everyone will think but we're going yeah, to yeah. tell them it's going to make you more virile and that, young that burning sensation Is that it means it's working, working. Yeah. yeah that's it i was working. gonna say why, what if i got i got an even better idea okay this one's specifically for women Ooh, it's a glass dildo with an ultraviolet light inside of it whoa so you can sun your uh what is the inside of the vagina called the, the vagina u- the, the uterine walls i thought your uterus was deeper i don't know man that's where i get that's I'm where i go about, when i fuck i'm down to, in the uterus you're, you're, that's you're, where you're i the, hang out you're in the second chamber yeah dude i go down into no, the, the second spot no, that's I, where i go that's too scary i stay on the first i stay <laughs> in the entryway yeah you're in the first neighborhood i like to go deep mm-hmm. yeah dude i make a left so anyway, too. I'm, I'm in a place people don't even know <laughs> you're, about you're one of the two i hang out in the projects <laughs> of the pussy dude i'm deep inside <laughs> um but yeah but it's just a ultraviolet pussy invigorator and we'll, I don't know, we'll get G- Gwyneth Paltrow to market it with us. Dude, I know that they make dildos with, like, actual crisps. They're like, this is, if you want to fuck yourself with an Onyx. Oh, for the astrology? Yeah, witches. yeah, for the crystal ladies, which is cool. And and fellas, I mean, if you want to put a crystal in your ass, no one's stopping you. It's um, Benoit crystals? Yeah. Tighten your, tighten your chakras up. I mean, maybe, yeah, because you, you have a chakra on the top of your head. There's, like, seven, right? Mm-hmm. And then there's, like, one on your face. And then there's like one in your heart, a three. I think there's one in your stomach. One hundred percent. That's like the most important one, from what I'm told. I think Chinese people. That's like your, where all your power comes from. Yeah, yeah. Your stomach one. That's why your gut health is mm-hmm. so important, dude. That's why your I'm the gut biome, dude. I'm the strongest man alive. Yeah, dude. Dude, my my gut chi is just. I have an excess of gut chi. Where do you um, think I have the most chi? Uh, do you have feet chi? 
I bet there, there's a, it's a sub sub. It's not the most a important sub category. Yeah, it's not it's not chi but cha, something, whatever. But anyways, dick. Your dick is one, and then also your butthole is Mars. your seventh. You have a butthole chakra? No, yeah, you have to, and that's why you're not gonna shove crystals up there to protect it. Yeah, you don't your... want to. You don't want to break the chakra seal. You don't want thetans, Scientology alien soul thetans breaking your chakra, corrupting your chakra. The only thing you want in your ass is another guy shooting his thetans. Yeah, dude, that's what you want. <laughs> nope. Not crystals. That's you, weird. You don't want too many thetans. That's bad for you. Unless it, that's what you want. Very real. So what was the other thing? Sunning your asshole. There was yeah, another yeah, scam. yeah. Sunning your asshole. Coffee enema. That's a thing hippies have been doing. I think that one's bad for you. That one cannot be good for I you. Think it really dehydrates you. The idea that you're like it's natural and it's like well, firstly, coffee is an incredibly involved process but that has been invented and perfected over the course of thousands of years. So there's nothing natural about coffee okay and then you're like oh well it's normal to put it in your ass and it's like well also no mm. food and drink goes in the front and comes out the back i know I've as much i'm pro ass fucking i think it's great <laughs> get down there lick my ass Gross. put your finger in it whatever go nuts nope but that's pleasure i'm not fucking f eating reverse style <laughs> that's that's fucking crazy dude it, just to be like yeah i'm gonna fucking coffee down the front is good but if it's if it's good in the front it's gonna be twice as good in the back and they're just putting raw coffee in their assholes that's so crazy and by that logic it's like well then just fucking put fucking wheatgrass juice up there what aren't we putting in our asses now i'm just gonna fully start drinking out of my ass I Not out of it, but into, <laughs> into it. I'm it, start hydrate. drinking into my ass. Sorry, it's hard to get the language correct because it's just, so fucking absurd. Uh, I, I just love when people are like, it's natural. It's like, that fucking who cares, man? I don't care if it's natural. I hate the argument that anything is natural. I know. I hate that argument, too. It's natural. Well, so is snake venom, you fucking idiot. Oh, man. it's so That bothers me so bad. Or I would say anything we do. Anything not, in the world is natural. No, anything humans do. I mean, yeah, you could argue anything that is happening is natural because it's of oh, it's happening in the universe. But I'm saying if humans are not natural, which is the distinction they're going for, anything we cause is not natural. So lighting a plant on fire and smoking it is not natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I love the. Uh, that's my favorite shit when they're like, "Oh, don't do synthetic drugs; it's not natural." But then they're lighting they, there's so many steps it's just like if weed is if ingesting weed is natural and good then why can't you just eat it why are you making more like you to can. smoke it doesn't even make sense i know that's what i'm saying like so you're doing it the unnatural way i don't get it now what if i what if i boof what if i stick my asshole up to a bong okay and do a, a bong enema that would be sick dude people would go nuts think if you how, ripped a bong with your ass <laughs> think about how high i've seen a lady do that with a uh, smoke a cigarette with her pussy once. i've seen that too so i feel like a really a uh, very talented man or an extremely cool lady could yeah, rip a yeah, bong yeah. with her ass <laughs> dude i bet you there's that one guy that can suck air into his ass oh. uh, at will we gotta we gotta find him yeah yeah we should find him and, <laughs> and have him rip a bong with his ass you think he'd get high if bong is, smoke see, goes in your ass it can't be good for you this right? is the scientific theory theorem oh, at work we're like does it get you high like i don't even know i don't have the knowledge and so we have to put fourth that we have to write the paper our our hypothesis what's your hypothesis does it or does not and then we test both it doesn't matter either way uh, i say it mm, no it, I, th I think it doesn't get you high and but here's what if it does and it's the healthiest way because your ass oh. doesn't have a direct th th thing to your lungs yeah what if it is the healthiest way yeah and so then <laughs> you do a you do an ass bong a rip and what if it would take a while so you rip the bong with your ass it wouldn't take a and while and then the smoke has to absorb into the takes... shit which is being digested no it hits you faster like the kids who soak uh oh, tampons yeah. and vodka yeah, yeah it's yeah. more dangerous because you your body can't regulate yeah your body can't throw up alcohol so kids for anyone who doesn't know uh to sneak alcohol into like prom for underage drinking uh will will soak 
tampons and vodka and shove them up their ass you get drunk faster yeah you can't throw up so you're more risk of uh getting alcohol poisoning and you're also shoving something up your ass yeah so dude. very dangerous way to get drunk it's a crazy way to get drunk getting drunk via asshole is nuts yeah i'm telling you nothing should go in there no stuff oh. should go in there, there you, you but stuff that comes out nothing should live in there no nothing should ever go in except for your doctor once and even <laughs> then i'm like just give me the cat scan <laughs> that's not how it works <laughs> it's not they gotta go in there and check he's gotta poke it just to be like yeah i guess you got you got the stuff in there yeah dude. you got something your asshole works it's tight and you're like thanks <laughs> i've never put anything up there <laughs> you're so defensive about it i feel like you've put stuff up there and you didn't like it i feel like what if i love it and that's just that's the the switch yeah yeah unlock your life and enjoy it bro if you have one more thing you like sexually how is that a negative no because what if it if that was the thing it would take over my life and i would disappear and you'd find me living in hedonism dead in a ditch six months from now i don't think you're gonna like stuff in your ass any more than you like your dick in a pussy i already why aren't you in I a already, ditch from... i already kind of like that <laughs> <laughs> oh you're only kind of i'm like sometimes it's pretty good yeah i could take it or leave it sometimes i'll be honest <laughs> so yeah i don't wanna i'm it's too I don't. I don't need to discover. I'm. I'm getting that point in my life where I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you do care. I don't. You care the most. Not me. I'm. I want to unlock. Dude, I. Wi I meditate every day and try to will myself into thinking feet are sexy. Oh, really? Yeah, I want it so bad. You want to be a foot guy. I want to be an everything guy. I want to be into feet. I want to be into fucking hands. I want to be into fucking all of it, man. I want to just be with. I want to just be with someone, and I like them, and their whole body just makes me coom so hard. I think that's a normal. That's like a normal relationship. No, because a normal relationship, you're not like at the fucking. You don't just look down while your partner's cooking it at their feet, and you're just like, like. I want it to be. Or do you want a normal? I guess a normal relationship would be, be like I like I like her, but she's my wife and I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's yeah, that's, that's your relationship. That's a normal, healthy relationship. Yeah, when you're married you, to a woman that you resent, where you like a woman just enough, and she lives in your house, and you do things for each other, and you have th two point five children, mm -hmm. and, and that's it. <laughs> and life doesn't get any better. You've done it. You've done it. Yeah, man, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I want to be into all of it. I would like it if I was, but I'm not. I'm into stupid shit. Yeah, you are. That's your fault. <sighs> yeah, it sucks. Oh, I like it when a woman says I love you while we're fucking. It's like so lame. Dude, that's gay. <laughs> I know. It is. It's fucking so... I wish I could... I wish that me from high school would see me now. He'd beat me up while I wasn't looking. <laughs> I'd help him. Yeah, dude. He would jump me. He would hear me say that, and he'd be like, you fucking idiot. You have access to infinite sex, and you choose to fucking save it for people you like? Just dude, fuck. Dude, that's so sad, because I could beat up my high school self. I'm only gaining powers. My high school self, I listen, I could absolutely rip my high school self know. in half. I, I don't but he think would so. he, he's so he's very uh fucking conniving. He's and, vicious and evil. Yeah. He'd find me he'd wait till I wasn't looking and then he'd hit me with a pipe. Mm-hmm. So not me. I know all of my old moves. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't you the past self I couldn't beat what is that movie? Is that the Omega Man? Where Will Smith plays like himself, but twice. Oh, I don't he's, even know. He's like young Will Smith. There's so many of those. Looper, Omega Man, fucking Terminator. Or wait, is Terminator fight himself? No. Well, he fights another robot. Yeah, it's a different guy. Yeah, still. Come that's on. Not, that's not the thing. Yeah, I could totally. I could totally take. I think I could take on two of me. I don't think you could. I think I could. I think that you would. You're so nonviolent that the other you would just try to emotionally destroy you. But there's nothing to. I, I he know. couldn't do it. You couldn't come at me physically, emotionally. I would. I would. T 
talk him out of it. You wouldn't be able to talk him out of it. I absolutely. Would I be. imagine D. I that he would be as. Aw- I don't think you've changed emotionally or mentally since <laughs> high school. Exactly. Yeah. So it would be the immovable object meets the unstoppable force. But I have more experience. I don't know about that. Decades. I think that you've been playing the same games and doing the same thing <laughs> that whole time. You've played more. I guess you've played more Doom now. Mm hmm. He'd be like, Do you still play Team Fortress 2? Nope. He's better at Team Fortress 2 than you. He'd find out that you play Fortnite all the time. Dude. Yeah, I'm better. I, I evolve. See, I have changed up my game. Yeah. Playing new games. How's, keep... how's your addiction to Fortnite? Are you. How long do you think that'll last? Oh, uh, until I beat it. <laughs> <laughs> until you beat Fortnite? Yeah. I'm I'm excited for you. It's fun to watch you passionate about something. How's training for the cigarette marathon going? So Doing it's Fortnite. Good. I've been training with Jared. Running into that. Oh, you train with Jared. What you guys do? We, we, the secrets. You, what do you mean secrets? He, he gave me some secret training regimen. You guys played Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> you guys That's part of it. <laughs> Recovery is very important to oh, an man. exercise regiment. I. Uh, that's so funny. I. I don't know, man. I feel like you're not taking the cigarette marathon seriously. <laughs> Dude, you're going to be so sad. When what? <laughs> when I when I win. Dude, you're not I I'm I'm rooting for you <laughs> and I don't think you're going to win. See, that's not you're not rooting for me then. No, I am rooting for you. <laughs> I just see reality. You see that's you're still living in reality. <laughs> oh, true. I'm living I'm looking at the future. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> sorry my bad i should be looking into the future yeah you can't just live in the now all the time yeah that's stupid. that's your problem that's silly of me that's why you're so sad you're not Ugh. you're not you're not looking forward to when you'll be dead <laughs> like oh, me it's gonna be awesome dude, i'm so excited you're right dude i can't wait to be dead in 100 years Eyes unless we're like your price. grandpa we just keep living dude he refuses to die yeah you got those you got those live forever genes in you yeah they're really in there see i'm gonna die well maybe i mean i don't know i don't think we have any good sample size because your whole family's so unhealthy and they're all still so alive yeah they're every rare. single one of them yeah they're like wildly alive but they they could if they all go now it'd be like oh well, that makes sense so maybe not maybe i don't know no, they, they span decades you need one guy who was really unhealthy and one guy who was healthy and to see how far they go i would uh, we have those and they're both still going huh i like a i have like an uncle who's i think almost 70 and and what's in what's his deal He's still going. Does he? Is he healthy or unhealthy? He's a. He's a. He's the type of guy that will sun his asshole in the <laughs> desert. <laughs> oh, nice. So he's a. I would say. Do you think hippies like that are healthier or un- they think they're healthier? I think they're accidentally healthier. You think they're? But I do think they get some things very wrong. I think that that generation is our generation will have people that old that are healthy that aren't hippies. But our parent, like the boomer Gen X generation, they are either a hippie who looks good and has taken care of themselves to old age, or they're just fucking off the rails. Like, those are the only two because we have a lot of people who have, like, taken an interest in their health and ideas about, like, living a life with less stress yeah. and taking care of themselves and eating good or working out. But That's what I'm doing. Back, less, back I'm, in the day. Part of my regimen is less stress and eating healthy. Back in the day, <laughs> eating a lot people of who were food. working out in the 80s and 90s were, they were unhealthy. Still smoking cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, they were, like, <laughs> jacked as fuck, taking ripped fuel and, like, whatever mm-hmm. weird steroids and shit. Like, so now, they all those people are like Dude, fucking like our dads. This pre workout falling apart. This pre workout has asbestos in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, <laughs> That's how it's you know the it extra kick I need. I sprinkle MSG in it for it to taste good, but MSG is actually not bad for you. That's a anti Asian myth designed put, to stop them from having the best food. I put so much MSG. Yeah, dude. dude. Shout out MSG and all Asian food. Let's fucking go. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not all Asian food. Yeah, it's all pretty good, no, dude. Some, it's, N- name, a, name a version of Asian food that isn't good. Uh, that century egg. What? 
That's the egg that uh, the Chinese people bury in the ground for like 20 years. You're talk- oh, oh, for 20 it, years. I was it's like, like, are like you a talking duck- about balut? No, it's like a duck egg that they let rot yeah. in the ground. Okay, but you could have picked one dish from any culture. I'm talking about the overall cuisine because Chinese you food said name slaps. One. No, I said name one culture that had like the quiz. Uh, name one cuisine that's bad like overall because oh. Chinese food redeems itself and all the other stuff. Name one Asian cuisine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would imagine um, the steppe people. Oh, yeah, Mongolians. <laughs> Mongolians. Like, would you like raw meat? And you're like, I don't know. We, we, we eat this bird we found. <laughs> <laughs> okay, saw, you, you saw got me bird. on one technicality. I saw a bird fall 30 miles that way. Let's go eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so hardcore. I know. You know they took over the world twice. They're like, or like almost. All right, be careful. I know... The Mongols are cool and all, but when you say take over the world, I hate when someone says take over the world, and it's like, oh, they took over the world in 2 BC, when the world was like 400 people. <laughs> Dude, firstly, you take over 400 people. I could. See how easy it is. I could definitely take over 400 You've people. Ta- you couldn't take over four people. You can't even take over three people in this house. Yeah, because you're all plotting against me. <laughs> that's, a, that's You know who didn't say that? Tamerlane or Genghis. Shout out to our listeners who've noticed everyone teaming up against me. You've awakened my abusive relationship. Oh, my God. (laughs) People literally messaging me being like, oh, it's so interesting to see how Mac reacts to getting treated like he Mm -hmm. treats other people. I'm like, yeah, isn't it, though? I don't treat you guys like that. I treat you with up most respect and adoration. (laughs) You had to think about that for a second. (laughs) No, I didn't. I treat you with up. Long pause. Most respect. <laughs> it wasn't a long pause. It was long enough. Hey, fuck you. It felt like <laughs> <laughs> it felt like a thousand years. Oh man. Anyway, they're gonna take over the world next. Chinese people? No, the Mongolians. Oh, I was gonna say Chinese people have already really the step people. Is yeah, it, the Chinese. isn't. Isn't like 60% of the world Chinese? No. It's up there. No, I think India and China are like equal in terms of you population. They're the same people to me. They're all the way over there. They are both Asian. They're both Asian. Good for them. Yeah, they're doing great. I'm, I'm happy for them. That's very funny when someone's like, uh, isn't like white, white supremacists are like afraid of being wiped out? Yeah, yeah. The, the, great, the great replacement or whatever it's bullshit like, they think. You already lost. <laughs> the most of the world because i think what's funny about white supremacists is that i think they're afraid of like uh well who are they afraid of Maybe that's a great question is it mexican it's usually latinos i feel like i i think they're, it's- they're afraid of like immigrants from africa and latinos i feel like the american white supremacist is usually afraid of like the border wall right immigrants yeah yeah muslims yeah. muslims right they don't like muslims even though muslims are white i think more muslims are white than but not whatever whatever race mm-hmm. and i and like you're worried about the wrong people china's already taken over <laughs> yeah yeah they already won there's well, the, a billion and a half of them <laughs> a lot and of, they're right next to india which is another billion and a half that's half the world it's you true. have 50 guy white guys left <laughs> yeah it is so funny to be like maybe you should be nicer to the mexicans and black people and arabs maybe the eskimos native americans because there's a look i love chinese people too i might i think mexicans should go over to the chinese team <laughs> <laughs> i think we're i think we're gonna make a move it's yeah. better latinos are gonna we're gonna p- throw our draft card over to china mm-hmm. i think we'll see what they offer us jewish people <laughs> already have dude to china yeah yeah china has good things to say about jewish people is china and israel close together uh, i don't think israel and china are but china said a lot of things about like the jewish people i actually don't think china is very pro-israel um is china as is china anti-muslim yeah Uh-oh. i mean it, uh, freedom of religion is like a, th- a not real. it's like a weird thing in china they're not big on religion yeah and especially the- islam is like uh, you know they have like ideals the state strives for and like conservative islam and christianity they they're, they're the anti- they're to yeah they're to the antithesis of those state ideals so the chinese government doesn't like you being inspired by god yeah yeah <laughs> your only yeah. god should be communism 
yeah, or whatever they're doing over there. It's tough because you know, regular like Christianity, like just chill, chill, normal Islamic Christianity is like. You know, they're just guys and ladies and whatever yeah, who they're are just, like they're afraid of dying. Yeah, they're just afraid of dying. But <laughs> that's what all. But then you know, there has to be one guy who's like, I don't know. I read this book twice, and I think women shouldn't drive. And then you know, so then there's a lot of people who are have a pretty visceral reaction to that. Christians do it too. I read the book twice, and I don't think women should have jobs. You're like, ah, fuck. I don't think that's in there, man. I don't know. That one sounds pretty good. (laughs) If you're, yeah, if you don't like the work, I do love. uh, I I do like when a a very feminist lady is like, third wave feminism is bad. Women shouldn't have jobs. Oh yeah, yeah. We had it so good before we could vote, and I'm like, you know what? We should become. I want to become like second wave meninist (laughs) where i'm like men should be in the kitchen men should be making sandwiches we're much stronger we can we can make bigger sandwiches for the family (laughs) that's right i stay home and cook and clean women should be in the office because they're better at emotional decision making where man needs to be home on the farm uh care like i don't know carrying cows and doing all the chores women need to be in the office place exactly that's what i've been saying second wave feminism is making a comeback what is that like trad feminism no i'm saying second wave meninism oh yeah second wave meninism is not ever existed i think you're the first one i'm the first guy you're the first guy because first wave meninism is like women shouldn't be in video games no that's i i'm mad women should only be in video games that's my thing all characters should be women i don't want to look at a guy yeah yeah, i don't want to why would i want to play a a big strong guy i'm already that in real life exactly i want want to see girl butts i want to play a small petite magical woman i want with very revealing clothing if i was president i would make unreal uh show how the booby physics Mm -hmm. from dead or alive volleyball works and then i would for that would be an open source code and every video game would have the titty physics from dead or alive volleyball beach volleyball realistic they're realistic jiggle we don't want we don't want we want it to be represented realistically exactly and i'm not a monster all sizes of tits will be represented that's why they had to have build a supercomputer to model those titties that's my intersectional feminism is when all all tits are represented in games Mm -hmm. exactly insane yeah yeah and that's what i would do so then i'm playing call of duty and i'm like there's a bunch of big titted queens running around jiggling all over the place it's awesome this is uh yeah, so a man should stay at home. And then we should throw some tits on Darth Vader in Fortnite. That, that's coming. That's coming down the line. You think? Are you excited for Lord of the Rings in Fortnite? That's so funny. I wonder how they're going to do it. <laughs> I think they're just going to have the actual characters from like the movie. I think they're going to... Because they already have a thing with Warner Bros. Because Warner Bros. owns superhero... Like, No, 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 no. That's DC. They have a thing with Disney. They have a thing with everyone. Yeah, they have a thing with Amazon. Anyway, I don't know, man. They fucking, they'll get, they'll probably just have the movie guys. They'll have like Aragorn and Legolas and Gimli and Gandalf or whatever. Here's what I think. I bet you, who do you, do you think there'll be like a, ooh, they're going to put a Balrog on the map? I don't know. I bet you anything they will. That's the guy you put on the map. Maybe. It's just interesting. fucking guy. It's just interesting how many billions of dollars mark zuckerberg has put into a shitty metaverse company yeah when fortnite is just like all right well we have all the characters and everyone's giving us money to play characters we got dragon ball we're getting family guy they're doing they got they got halo they got they're getting lord of the rings that's the metaverse everyone's gonna hang out in so i don't know if you're not if you're not learning fortnite right now you're not you're gonna get left behind in web 4.0 4.0 <laughs> web fort point oh. yeah for, web 4.0 when the entire internet exists in a fortnite island <laughs> yeah yeah it <laughs> is so kids funny. are gonna have to go to school to learn how to, to quick build it is so funny really for right. fucking the facebook to be like we're gonna create an online space everyone's gonna want to hang out in it's like bro are you do you not understand that they're already everyone is hanging out in online spaces it's called Steam and PlayStation. Like, it's fucking, we're here. It already happened. You can't compete, bro. The problem with Facebook is it's, I feel like it's a company full of not, it, it's a, what is that thing where you, I, I'm forgetting the term when you test, you test it with audiences first before you release it. 
Oh, they. I I want to say play test, but well, yeah, it's a it's a bunch of it's a bunch of managers and people who don't actually know how to do stuff, but think of what people want. It's the same with like Disney and Marvel and all these shitty giant companies. They don't they don't do anything focus fun. testing focus groups. Yeah, and so they don't do anything risky, and so there's no reward, and it all just turns to shit, and you just spent ten billion dollars on nothing, dude. Why didn't Facebook make an MMO? That's my thing is like, dude, why didn't Facebook make like RuneScape and have it powered in the Facebook browser? Why did they? Why not? Why not just buy it? Why not just buy Second Life? Second Life already exists and is better. Yeah, but they they won't sell Second Life. The guy who runs it talks about how he still makes a bunch of money. Good for him. Yeah, it's crazy. But like, dude, truly, if you made a casual MMO, had it powered in Facebook you would and then you just did uh fucking microtransactions you know you would make a trillion million bazillion dollars and then you would have old people young people runescaping in Not, facebook you wouldn't have young people you would are there, is there what, what are no you way. talking about no way there's, there's a billion dollar market of kids playing video games in libraries here's my question is anyone under the age of <sighs> I would say under the age of 30 on Facebook. You're so out of touch. It's crazy. No, you're out of touch. Facebook my is the most popular. You're out of touch. No one, they say they're the most popular. All the kids are on TikTok. I have the data. In, in, when I promote my shows, more people from Facebook come than any other group. I, and more young people are on Facebook. I get more I, messages I've, on I've Facebook. Been, I've been to your shows. It's all the, it's all 30 year olds. Dude, people, Facebook is. Pe- it's all 30 year old adults with one foot in the grave. Facebook is still the king. It really is with dead. all ages. Shane my doesn't man. know what he's talking about. I have de- I've declared an allegiance with glorious China and TikTok. <laughs> TikTok's only pop. Uh, you know what I've been laughing about? Watching comedians be like, my, my thing with my fucking, I had a dildo on TikTok and it got removed. My tits got removed off TikTok. My yeah, yeah. bare ass got, and they're like complaining. And listen, I get it. I also want your tits to be on TikTok. Hey, I tried to uh, the old internet i tried to bully people and say mean things and do horrific things online but you you people get sad and they're like you bullied me and so we had to make the internet a safe space and when you make the internet a safe space you can't post hits on the internet well firstly you can post hits on the internet not on facebook all the time well yeah you can't on facebook but that's my thing is like people complain about tiktok's terms of service and it's like well, but you're popular on TikTok. It's only popular because everyone can use it. That's the only reason it's popular. And if everyone uses it, you have to have terms of services that protect children. End of discussion. The only reason it's popular is because Christian people and Muslim people can go on there and not see something that's going to fucking hurt their feelings. The only reason it's popular is because kids use it. So then people are like, where's adult TikTok? It's like adult TikTok. You wouldn't go viral on it, motherfucker. There'd be no one on that shit. We already have it. It's called Twitter. There is adult TikTok. I've seen I've seen some porn sites that oh. <laughs> allow, allow you to swipe through like vertical videos, TikTok style. Yeah, it's just so it's funny to be cool. like free speech, and it's like you wouldn't even be using this app because it wouldn't be popular if it was for adults. Adult apps aren't popular. How do you? It, everyone needs to be able to go on it, and there's half the world has religious sensibilities. They don't want to see the app with the fucking full penetration, man. How about uh, I? Are there laws on like? Chinese kids can only be on the internet for like two hours a day. No, they can use it for like a certain amount of time, but they do have like, um, like on the weekend or something or no, not on the weekend, like on school days, any day that school, cause they do have days where school isn't scheduled then they're allowed to use it. But on like a school day, they're like limited to a certain amount and then it turns off for them and shit. How do you enforce that? I don't know. I don't know how it works. I think that every, I think that people have free internet and they just control the internet. And so, like the internet is a privilege. Like they give the internet to everybody for free. And do you think that's better or worse than what we're doing? I don't know, just, man. Just blasting children with the internet at, I, I at four ge- years old. I genuinely <laughs> don't know. I mean, uh, there's a part of me that's like freedom is important and do whatever you want. But then there's another part of me that's like, I don't know. Parents d- aren't always good, and maybe the state should like be like, <laughs> I don't know. Fucking, you're eleven. 
Don't do go outside. Don't fucking be looking at TikToks of girls shaking their ass for nine hours. Like I I don't know, man. We're gonna see who prevails. But here's the thing. People are like, oh, the fucking internet in China, they don't let kids use it, but China churns out more professional esports people than we do. So obviously they use the internet enough. That would, that would, so that, I'm, I don't understand what's going on over there. That's how I would get around it. Uh, can I get my internet turned back on? I'm a professional TikToker. <laughs> I, need to, I need to stare at, the, at these girls twerking for at least eight hours a day, minimum. It is funny to just have kids. Like they're basically incentivizing American kids to use TikTok. And then if you don't use it, it like pushes you down, you know? So they incentivize Americans to just go insane on TikTok. Gotta keep using it. Gotta keep using it. Yeah, this is create the, content. Create content. And it like This is the Fox News conspiracy. And it's just like murdering everyone because they're so obsessed with being famous and they have to be popular. But it makes TikTok all this money. Then meanwhile, the Chinese company is like not letting kids like they're like hey you take a break man don't let yourself burn out don't become obsessed with likes and they're purposefully like keeping their their kids mental health in check meanwhile our kids are like making them millions of dollars by running themselves ragged humiliating themselves on the internet it's like i don't know man they might be winning the culture war i don't know we're winning the culture war because we're putting out more content oh then they're there's I don't. Here's the thing. They're, they're, we're shipping our shitty Marvel movies over there. We're, I don't. I haven't seen a Chinese movie. There. The, firstly, that is their shitty Marvel movies. We make it for them. Oh, have you? We're the one taking out the same sex kiss in Star Wars. You know what? China. We're I haven't seen a Marvel cast... or, or Star Wars movie in years, dude. We like literally. We do a lot of weird things in our movies to cast them. That is gen- gen- genuinely just for the Chinese market. Yeah, because there's they're half the world. It's smart. No, yeah, they're a huge market. Dude, we should I, I wonder if they do get internet from the government in some maybe in the city, maybe not rural places. I don't know. I want to check on that. Why aren't we why isn't Cowboy Boys hitting the Chinese market more? This is very true. We should learn how to speak Chinese. I, I don't even think we need to learn how to speak Chinese. They all know how to speak English. It's true. They're doing so much better than us. We need to look, I just want to take a uh uh the moment let's have a let's have a new segment on the podcast. Okay. Of glorious uh praises to xi is it xi jinping xi jinping yeah glorious leader xi jinping uh we love you we love the your algorithms that are listening right now we love the way that you've kind of created some sort A of disgusting u- zombie version of socialism that isn't socialism that that is the best that Capital- is the best capitalism socialism <laughs> is it's the so best brutal. it's so form brutal. of government yeah thank you for that we love that you took the craziest parts of both and fucking just slammed them into each other and uh if if we have if anyone wants to translate this podcast into Chinese, you can take all the profits for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just want the fans. I want the I want the loyal red fans. How cool would it be to like fly to China and we get off the plane and there's like people in cowboy hats and stuff that and they're like screaming, sick. going nuts. You ever see John Cena speak perfect Chinese? Yeah, yeah. Back in like the two thir- two thousands. Yeah, he knows how to speak he, Chinese. He's so he's been speaking Chinese. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Good for him, man. I'm trying to learn Spanish. Why? Uh, do you mean por qué? No, I mean why? <laughs> what? What a useless language! I knew Spanish. I forgot it because it was so useless. <laughs> you just didn't use it. <laughs> I, exactly. You were literally <laughs> useless. <laughs> no, I you... stopped using it because it was useless to me. I forgot an even more useless language. Which is that? that? And you know what is so funny? We both forgot, and then we moved here, and both of us could be using them, but we can't. You so. don't need to know. So There's two languages spoken in New York. English mm. and whatever I understand enough English, because <laughs> anyone who doesn't speak English still gets by on like... Uh, <laughs> there's <laughs> English and louder, slower English. Yeah, <laughs> and most people speak the second one, at least um so i don't yeah the whole world whole world speaks english if you mm. you can get by you don't need to learn a second language i th- would like to know more i would i wish i knew more than three i wish i knew a bunch of languages i Why? feel stupid that i don't 
I feel like the people who learn more languages are stupid for wasting their time. Dude, I also I feel like I'm attracted to people who speak more than one language, and then when they find out that I can barely speak one, they're like, come on. I, really? And it's also embarrassing to be like, I used to be able to speak two. And, and like, I don't know, man. I've forgotten more languages than you've learned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've forgotten more languages than most <laughs> Americans speak. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, that with pride. Yeah, it's true. It's so funny for me, too. I was like, oh, I'll practice my Hebrew here, but the people in our neighborhood speak Yiddish. So even if I knew Hebrew, I'd have to speak English and Hebrew to them because I don't understand so many of their fucking words. It's crazy to speak Yiddish. Even less people speak Yiddish than Hebrew. What's the difference? Yiddish is a German-Hebrew hybrid that was developed over a long period of time. And Hebrew is the reconstruction of ancient Hebrew in Israel did that. Just speak English. I know. I think I'm one of those people. I'm one of those rednecks Fox News guys where I'm like, just fuck it. America should have America should have two languages. Uh, English and Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the only two. You better learn how to speak one of them. I don't want. I don't want to hear no Spanish. You gotta learn Chinese when you come to America, because we're gonna have to learn that eventually, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> how would they invade us? They wouldn't. They're, they're not gonna invade us. No, they wouldn't. They'll just beat us down. What happens when they move their factories here? That's like yeah. It's that's gonna, when we take the upper hand. When we start making very shoddy construction products and yeah, shipping yeah. them over there. When we have to put suicide nets in our fucking phone factories. When we we steal all their patents and make everything they make, but slightly worse. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. A lot cheaper and sell them to our own. That's a, there's like Chinese iPhones yeah. that they have over there. So I think with because the iPhone factory is like you got to make 800 iPhones this this month whatever the numbers yeah. are off and so they make 801 like look we we made it and so but we, we still have two weeks left so then they start making the the g phone which is yeah. just the chinese version and the guys they start selling those locally for at, at cost or whatever making less money but then they make a lot more it's very very smart so funny that we were like the whole world is like yeah patent law but patent law really is kind of like it only fucks us it it because we're the only ones playing the game yeah yeah <laughs> it only works if everyone agrees to it so china was like oh we don't fucking care about that if our people want a gopro we'll just make one mm -hmm. cheaper and we're like hey you can't do that and they're like no nah, actually we're just gonna give gopros to our people you're like oh fuck <laughs> and so but like good for them i would do it yeah. if i was them they should steal it yeah dude fuck it oh you sorry that you think that you want to mark up a gopro by 300 yep. percent. we're gonna make it slightly worse and then it's gonna cost one eighth what and if, we're still gonna make money what if they're i don't i don't know how common knowledge this is but most french comedians steal all their bits from english comics I don't know that that's real. I'm saying uh, I'm saying like eighty to ninety percent of free French comedians. Where did you hear this? The famous ones. Where did you hear this? I've seen it online. But eighty Luke, to ninety percent of French stand-up comedians. Seen it all, I don't steal. I don't think, all their bits. I think you're just I, saying. I'm calling you frogs out. I've seen it online, you thieves. But I'm wondering mm -hmm. if. Do you think there's just Chinese podcasters stealing all of our bits and doing them on yeah, Chinese, yeah, yeah. on Chinese cowboy boys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're definitely just like, oh, that's a good one. They just wait, and they have to wait every single week. They're just changing it slightly. <laughs> I don't even think they change oh, it slightly. What about Catula? <laughs> You're like, wait, no, that's our bit. <laughs> they don't have to change it slightly. They could just do it verbatim. We'd never catch them. It's true. We, we can't. wouldn't catch them in a hundred years because we don't know. Back. Why don't we steal Chinese podcasters' bits? Because we don't speak Chinese. But what we can just get it translated, and then no one uh, would ever know. Then you got to get a third guy. That's when the no, you use YouTube auto translate. No, YouTube's bits. our guy. Or you just have the like, you know, the app that translates for you. The Google Translate. I don't know. I feel like America, especially in stand up, specifically in stand up, I should say, is. 15 years ahead of every other re region in the world yeah what do you think is the funniest other than jews <laughs> because they were forced to become the funniest uh what do you think who do you think are the funniest cultures the funniest cultures yeah 
I mean, black Americans are f- they, super funny. Yeah, that that counts for us Americans. Okay. Um, it could be stand up wise. I think Australians are just funny. They're just funny people. They just fucking. They're in your top five. They're yeah, they do. They have great banter. They fucking like to have fun. They're just silly. Like even the most normal, boring Australian is kind of clever. Likes to have fun. Wants to do a bit. Like they're pretty funny. Like okay. in general, I think English and I. Uh, I think English people are that way too. No, I don't. I think English people have banter. But I don't think they're really funny. I think they have like a tool set. But here's your thing. You think funny is what you think is funny isn't people trying to be funny. I think Japanese people are criminally underrated with how funny they are. But yeah, but you are not saying they're not funny on purpose to you. Yeah, they are. They're, their comedians are so funny. You don't laugh with people. You laugh at people. I could do both. <laughs> but you, their comedians are really funny, but them as a people. Oh, you. I meant like what which cultures produce like the best comedy oh which cultures produce the actual best like, comedy which cultures produce the weirdest fucked up people who pursue this weird fucked up uh career path it's literally america and jap japan and no one else you think those are the only two i mean there are funny australians and canadians and english people or whatever uh i don't think anyone in europe is natural no i lied there's some funny europeans man flula like some of those weirdo guys like from the netherlands and shit yeah, there are Germany. some weird they every but no that's like an they are outliers though japan's comedians are fucking hilarious they're psychopaths they're so funny and you're right japanese funny like they're funny tv shows and stuff criminally underrated insane what they like come up with so good and they they look like they're having a great time yeah. their banter is good their timing is good they're silly but they know when to play it straight they the, the, have incredible comedians mm-hmm. but I mean, that is a Japanese trait is to pick something you like and then become fucking a master, hammer it into fucking perfection. So they're very fun and Where, funny and silly. I think Americans are really good at brute forcing their way. Yeah. American comics are very funny. I like a lot of American comics. We also have a diverse range of comedy. Also, we speak English. Oh, you know what? The, the the language barrier doesn't stop me from enjoying Japanese comedy, so yeah. I'm going to take the language barrier out. I know that's what, it's super. See, like you can still figure it out. How about this Canadians? I was going to say Japan. It goes America, Japan, Canadians. No, then Canadian, Australians. Canadians are above Americans. You think? I think Canadians are funnier. Canadians have Tom Green, Norm Macdonald, mm. and that other guy. And that other guy. There's, that's such an amazing roster they have a great roster it's true i still put i still put canadians below uh, the two they're no. number three canadians are barely squeaking above americans but they're right neck and neck and then it goes canadians australians are, australians there's some good australian stand-ups if uh, you if you judged australia as its whole people then the average australian man is funnier but we do have we do have black people in america which th- the average black guy is so funny. Yeah, yeah. Black but Americans are, are fucking. They are, kill it. They are, they understand banter. They're incredibly funny. We are drugged down by I think West Coast's normal white guys. <laughs> those are those people Fuck, are not funny. Dude. Very boring. Yeah. East Coast East Coast is very funny. Midwest isn't very funny. Uh, Midwest is unintentionally funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the funny guys in the Midwest are way fucking funny. Like that want to be funny, but there's so few. They all take themselves really seriously. Conservatism is a disease against funny. They really fucking take themselves too seriously. Um, I think you have to. I think the funniest person is is a conservative guy with a liberal audience. <laughs> <laughs> If you can figure that out, that that's that, that's that's truly where it gets good. Um, yeah, dude. America, Japan, Canada, Australia. I guess fucking England or the UK in general. Not really England. Yeah, that's basically it, man. Um, I'm trying to think of other funny. I, I just off the top of my head, I can't think of anything. I'm sure someone could point something out to me, and I'd be like, "Oh yeah, very funny." But I think you could like point out individuals. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Of course, it's like yeah, the whole the, the, like where there's like a cult, like a structure uh, of like a, a group of people being like, "We we're doing comedy. We're like trying to do something here." And some places are really funny, like on purpose and on accident. 
Australia. Australia. <laughs> you know, we've got Jim Jeffries. We've got uh, Hannah Gatsby. Very so those are the two dichotomies there. One accidentally funny. Did you see her second special, Hannah Gatsby? Oh, I love both of them. Did you? What's it? <laughs> did what? What's her second special called? Um, a dingo ate my pronouns. Ah, <laughs> no that's pretty fun. You got I it. I no was <laughs> waiting for you to get it. I was like, he's got this. I don't have to help him at all. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's so funny. Well, what is her second special? I don't fucking know. No one does. That's my point. <laughs> no one fucking knows, dude. No one knows and no one cares. It is funny when everyone's like freaking out, me included. Yeah. <laughs> when it happened. And now it's like, oh, yeah, no one cares about I, that. I am. I will say, I listen, I fuck up all the time. I'm a moron and I'm wrong a lot. And, yeah, and I get reactionary. I got reactionary about the Johnny Depp trial. I was like. Not me. I was on his side the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> but like, um, I was not reactionary about Hannah Gatsby. When Nanette came out and all the comics were yeah. like, I'm so mad. I was like, it doesn't matter, man. Well, I think it doesn't matter. She's lied. She's not going to no, retire. Wait. She's going to keep doing comedy and no one will care. I and think, I was fucking right. I think at that time, people still wanted Netflix specials. I thought they could get it for themselves. Oh, true. And I think it's been a while where no one really, I mean, I comics care. No, what I'm saying I think at that time, specifically, comics still thought like I could be the next Bill Burr, oh, where they're yeah. like they or Tom Segura, where they give me a Netflix special and then I'm just the best forever. Yeah, but those guys were already the best. Then Netflix gave them a special, and then they got to keep going. Whereas I feel like now you're not really getting a Netflix special because Netflix is also dying. <laughs> Eh, slowly i mean they say that but who knows who knows what that even means anyway. they said tv was dying and tv's still going like it still makes money it's still out there if tv is going netflix is going to be fine what do you mean tv's still going tv still exists cable tv is still going strong does it yeah man this is this is one of your facebook things where you're like i don't think anyone under the age of 25 watches tv i think that you're just so out of touch man i you think just I'm, don't go anywhere you know what i am out of touch because i'm out there <laughs> i know that's what i'm, I'm saying i'm you're, living in the future you're living now I I'm, pr I'm predicting no one tomorrow <laughs> i know man i'm telling you i go places people are watching tv i fucking go to other people's houses there's tv on i fucking see it man Does that weird you out yes when you're like <laughs> someone your age is watching like of course when someone my age goes do you like monk <laughs> yeah it's fucking no. weird monk, man monk was of our time i'm saying uh when i see like a commercial and like why don't you have ad block on your computer or youtube oh, or yeah yeah or like yeah. why are you watching tv what is going on what's happening here no i i'm weird about it but i let it ride because i like i said i get to travel i get to see what people are up to and i'm i'm fucking i have to be plugged into the whole world i like facebook is necessary it's important to me because of my career mm. unlike you you're as so out of touch I'm surprised you don't have a burner Facebook account so you can stay because you're like, oh, I, I make a new I make a new social media for everything. And you pride yourself in being all up to date. But you're you're falling behind. No, you don't know how Facebook even works. I don't. I log in once every like six months. You should make a burner account. I don't need a burner account. I have my old account. Yeah. But what are you even you're not doing anything with it. No, I log in every six months. Unlike me, you're not in cool Facebook groups like like trucker moms united yeah. <laughs> yeah i log in every six months and then I'm, it's like a completely different website and i have no clue what's going on i know that's because you're a boomer uh, i am i'm i'm so far boomed that i've circled back to i don't know it is funny to be so far into the future that you boomer boomerify yourself on accident i think that's how the boomers happen maybe you just live in a, in a zone that Get, removes you from everyone else see that's my thing as i refuse i that's my worst fear so i do everything i can not to let that happen i try to be incredibly open-minded i never poo poo things kids are doing the only thing that i've poo pooed from day one and been like no fuck that it wasn't it wasn't tiktok it hasn't been any social medias it hasn't been like the weird way people dress or like annoying things they do or way they behave the only thing i was like fuck this is sticker book style tattoos and in like those? single needle tattoos that's when all the kids now like all the young people they get uh 
really thin lined tattoos oh. and they're like one piece one piece one piece all over them and, so it's like the lines are so thin that it blurs in like a year yeah yeah and then it looks like a sticker book like they just have like one tattoo here one tattoo and there nothing connects them like a regular sleeve yeah you're, and i'm right on that because now you're a tattoo boomer i am maybe but when you look at old school shitty tattoos like the ones i have you get old and then you go oh yeah that's that's fucking shitty but like tough when you're gonna in the future when you look at someone's sticker book tattoo they will always be aesthetically unpleasing there are certain things even a tramp stamp we all made fun of it but aesthetically you look at it and you go oh well yeah fuck it that goes there i get it i'm doing tattoos right i'm gonna get yeah yeah no wait wait i'm gonna get all my tattoos done the week before I die. There you go. That way, when they look at my corpse, they'll be like, damn, none of these look bad. They all look like, how did he know? Because they're going to assume that I got them throughout my life. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. going to be in deep, deep pain for the last week. So maybe under heavy sedation, but I'm going to get all my tattoos and they're going to be all in the, the current day style. And they'll be like, damn, how did he, how did he know? That rule, yeah. You could be like my mom. She did start getting tattooed into her fifties. Really? Now she has two sleeves and stuff. Yeah. She was tattooless until her fifties. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. My mom was like the fucking blonde-haired uh, cutie that dated all the like guys with lots of tattoos and shit. My mom was like a bad boy chaser. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start getting tatted up in my in my old age. Think about it. It's easier for them to tattoo. They just pull your skin, stretch it. It's actually not easier. It's harder. Oh. Yeah, because they can blow out the lines easier because your skin is thinner. So like the tattoos look crazier. So if you want to get those thin line tattoos, it won't work on you. You should get them as a baby. Yeah, you got to get them as a baby. Fucking uh, um, freak show style when they like would tattoo a ten year old head to toe. (laughs) (laughs) It's so funny. But and yeah, whatever. those tattoos look like shit, dude. No offense, anyone who has them. If you like them, who cares what I think? Fuck me, right? But I'm t- I'm saying, man, aesthetically, they're gonna look bad, and in ten years, people are gonna be like, ah, what were you doing? Yeah. But like in ten years, if you get classic style tattoos, those have aged gracefully since the forties. It's been since 1940. Aesthetically, that's there's some things where you you look at like a couch from the 70s and you can go, oh yeah, that fucking sucked. But there's other furniture that you you look at it and you go, that's timeless. This is a couch from the yeah, 70s. Yeah, yeah, I know, and it's timeless. You look at it and you go, oh. that's gonna be good forever. I can just tell. There's certain things where you're mm-hmm. like, oh, it's only cool right now. That fucking sucks. Like, like the bus and haircut. Yeah, dude. The curl, all the Zoomer haircut right now is Ugh. just like, damn, this stinks right now. Yeah, they look like they're in. <laughs> they look like a of a, a, a fucking um a minor character from the Fifth Element. Like, like you're just gonna get shot. I was gonna say they look like. Uh, how come all the Spider Man characters, Jojo, J Jonah Jones? Did he have he had curl? He had the bus and haircut a little bit, right? J Jonah Jameson? No, he has the fucking stra- the gelled straight up fucking um flat top. And then um. Who's the Green Goblin? Uh, I don't know. It's the Green Goblin. What's his name? F- uh, fucking what's uh, Osborne? Yeah. Os- Osborne. Or Henry whatever. Osborne has uh, he has wa- he has waves. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, he's a, white guy, a white guy with waves. What? Spider. Yeah, look into it. Anyways, end ending the podcast on that. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for listening to Cowboy Boys. Hopefully, it has been very insightful. Yeah, we love you. Uh, if you would like more open, free discussions. You guys are uh, visit great. us on patreon.com slash cowboy boys support us i would say our episodes there are always better <laughs> always better so much better if you thought this was even remotely good go there and you'll be like whoa you'll be blown away if by you, how good they are if you thought this was bad go there because it, it, yeah then you'll be like you know out. what this is the free episode we don't we don't even we put no effort into the free what do episode. you have to lose what five dollars you don't care about five dollars what are you scared to give us yeah. five dollars you babies you big pussy oh i can't give you five dollars bitch you're scared fuck you you would <laughs> never do it you don't have the balls five the do- cojones five dollars you you could buy what could you buy with five dollars not four hours of happiness anywhere else i'll tell you that for five dollars could you for five dollars yeah you could for five dollars you could probably buy uh a little bit of acid which might last you four, hours. four to eight hours hmm. well but if you don't have a dealer on hand we are your good, dealer now by the way that's a really good price 
I think oh I, yeah, I, if you're getting great, you're getting a deal. I think a uh, uh, what is that? A fourth of a tab for no, five? No, I think a tab should cost ten dollars. Whoa, man of the people. But why are you an acid dealer? That seems like I'm you, not. It should be your job. Oh, why am I not? Yeah, because it's very hard to come by. Well, yeah, you should make it. No, you're so weird. Why don't you know how to make acid? I'm not a chemist. Why not? You have to be like a fucking genius. No, it's a formula. You just make it. It's yeah, like just, cooking cookies. If they, if ever, if you could just make acid, there'd be a lot more. Do you know that there people was like people do no, just make not acid. people, not people. One or two guys are usually the guys making all the acid in the world for like decades. You're... And then the guy, then they finally catch up to the guy. And every now and then, all the acid is like, yeah, they caught Dave. So. 85% of the world's LSD supply has dried up. That's... And then a new guy has to like come up with a lab. They have to really Walter White it. No. That is how it works. I'm going to ask. We have a friend who made no, DMT. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask him how to make acid, and I'm going to make homemade acid, and I'm not yeah, going to give anything I to you. I bet you are. Dude, you couldn't you make it. You fucking doubt me. It's so, it's like one of the hardest drugs to make. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to make it. You're going to be so fucking embarrassed I when I be. have so much acid. Dude, yeah, just dose me. That's <laughs> yeah, how you tell me. I will. You're going to be like, whoa, why are the walls melting, man? And I'm going to be like, remember when you said I couldn't make acid? You're like, I don't remember anything <laughs> right now. I'm high as fuck. You couldn't make acid. Dude, I could You had a acid. team of Dude, scientists. you know how you go <laughs> like to those couples things and they're like today we're gonna make chicken parm as a yeah, couple yeah, but we go and it's acid we make and they have to take it together to see if it works oh it's really romantic oh it is but okay if you don't have an acid dealer five dollars a month patreon.com slash cowboy boys that's all we ask all right everyone you can berate us there come see me in springfield missouri this weekend i don't know where or when or how but at shanesmithcomedy.com. I'm having a bad day. Come see me in Springfield, Missouri. And then later in San Diego. And then after that, Tampa and Orlando. shanesmithcomedy.com. I love you. Yeehaw. Yeehaw.